We've all seen horror movies about aliens or supernatural creatures and felt nearly reassured knowing that nothing like that could ever be possible in our real world. But there are some terrifying horror films which are actually based on real life confirmed events and people. Here are some of them. The first film on this list is probably one you never expected to be based off of real life characters. The Conjuring, a supernatural horror film about a haunted house in which every kind of paranormal activity happens. In the film, two demonologists are contacted, Ed and Lorraine Warren, who actually happen to be real paranormal investigators, who even looked into some very famous cases, such as the one of the Annabelle doll, which, you guessed it, went on to create in the Conjuring prequels Annabelle, Annabelle the Creation and Annabelle Comes Home. As a homage to the investigators, Lorraine even received a small role in The Conjuring. The next character on this list is one whose long-lasting effect on the American audience was for very negative reasons. We are speaking of murderer Ed Gain. Ed Gain's crimes were so numerous and so gruesome that he inspired more than one horror film. The first mainstream movie which was based on the criminal's activity was the 1960s classic, Psycho, the one of the famous shower scene. The writer of Psycho lived only minutes away from Ed Gain's hometown and the film's main character's obsession with his mother and his violent tendencies are based on Gain's lifestyle. But it was only years later with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre that things started to get right into the details. Ed Gain was infamously known for not immediately making his victims disappear, but rather keeping them at home in very macabre manners. And in both the 1974 and 2003 versions of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, these elements are brought on screen. But Ed Gain was also an inspiration for another cult horror film, Silence of the Lambs, in which the FBI is on the hunt for a killer whose behaviour is very similar to Gain's. The next horror film based on a real-life character is The Exorcism of Emily Rose, in which a young woman passes away during an exorcism and all the characters involved are called to trial to discover whether she really was possessed by demons or whether she had a series of conditions which should have been cured in a medical facility. The film obviously tends for the more supernatural answer and went on to being considered one of the world's most frightening films, although the story is actually based on sadder events the real life of a German woman called Annelise Michel. Annelise suffered from depression and from psychotic episodes which would also include her refusing to touch or look at any religious object or enter a church, leading her family to believe she was possessed by a demon. Instead of helping Annelise, they stopped consulting doctors and let priests perform hours of exorcism on her for a whole year, during which she became so malnourished and weakened that she passed away. But justice found its way and her parents were later jailed and the Catholic Church began to change its view on exorcisms, opening up to the reality of mental illness and of how patients can be helped in other ways. Many other famous horror films have drawn details from real life events, Scream was based on the Gainesville Ripper, even The Shining is based on recounts of people staying at a hotel in Colorado where they are sure they saw odd events occur. Even this year's huge horror release The Curse of La Llorona, which actually speaks of supernatural events, is grounded in real life moments as it speaks of reports of a woman weeping for her children. Although the film presents her as a mysterious misfortune bringing figure, many have traced back the origin of the character in our real life, some even saying that she was the secret lover of Hernando Cortés, the conquistador who fought against the Aztec Empire. And what is your favourite horror film? Do you prefer realistic stories or more supernatural based ones? Let us know with a comment down below.